Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. My name is Vicente, and we are back for some more American Horror Story. This is episode 5, Red Dawn. So, I believe this is the midway point, episode 5 in a 9-episode season. So, Red Dawn. They did say it was almost morning when the kids would be arriving for camp, and... Most of the staff is dead. The other older guy counselor just got murdered by, what's her name? Mrs. Uh, I'm just calling her Miss Voorhees for now. Mr. Jingles is possibly dead or dying. The slasher killer is resurrected from the devil. Uh, his Satan worship has uh, come in handy. And he is reborn of the Dark Lord. Um, he definitely fit in on the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. <laughs> um, but I really just want to jump into this episode. I literally just finished watching the last one. Um, if you need a refresher on what I had to say about that episode, you can check out the video before this. But here we go. Is this how she became the crazy psychologist? Obsessed with murderers? Dad! Open the door! Her dad? Cheating on their mom? Doing. We can talk about this right now, or we can talk about this with mom later. Or was her dad a killer? You and that skank better cover up. I'm coming in. He killed her. <laughs> oh! She killed him! Hmm. Didn't expect that. Or is it her? Oh, it is her. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was her dad on the bed. Okay. That is a fucked up but justifiable origin story for the crazy psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, overall, I'm really enjoying this season. It's campy and it's gory. Some good 80s fun. I've always been a horror buff. My grandma would always read, like, Stephen King and stuff, so, like, me and her would watch scary movies when I was younger. I was reborn. Dead? and raised up by the unholy one himself. You think so pretty cool, Dee Dee? <laughs> was called me that name in gears, not That since. night, I know. The darkness resides in everyone, even you. Don't take my word for it. The darkness is inside you. You're not real. You the are The devil's father, fucking with you. Accept it. There's nothing else you can do. Will she embrace uh, her nature no and one can see. become a killer? to build a signal fire big enough for a plane to see. I have breathed the fire of a thousand white hot suns. We should just stay here till sunrise. There is safety in numbers. And we have Red Dawn. Oh, some bad news on that front. I used all my bullets trying to protect Trevor from jingles. I wish I could have done more. She figures better now than never. Ray, maybe he got to the call box or, or found help. No, don't worry, I promise I'll be right back. Yeah, keep that close, okay? <laughs> Ray, ghosts. Ray, over here. There's the ghosts. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't bail on us. No, no, I've just been walking. I'm sorry, I'm. I'm um, Supernatural no. turn. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, right. I did, uh, but uh, I got on a bike and I rode out of camp. It's jingles. Come on, come on, come on. And either Jingles is like severely wounded somewhere, or he's dead in a ghost as well. I don't see anything out there. It's not even a light. 
Oh. Don't worry, Margaret. We're gonna find help. She's gonna, gonna kill him. Do you ever think about death, Chet? Why? So I can kill you. Damn. Oh. Fight. Oh, damn. Oh. Well, bye, Chet. Will he come back as a ghost, or will his ghost be, like, stuck down there? Well, probably not, because, I mean, the other guy died on the road, and he was not on the road when he was running around. You're pretty right. Just the way you are. Why'd you do that? The chances are we're not going to make it out of here alive tonight, and I don't want to die when I... You're already I half right. Like I've lived. So let's do it. Live. Do not fuck a ghost. <laughs> I still have an audition on the books. How's a burn victim ever supposed to play Shiri? I don't like this. A lot of makeup. Brooke should be back by now. It's your fault I'll never be on the cover of TV Guide. It's your fault my future is in radio. You don't want to do this place. <sighs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, all right. <laughs> Having sex with the ghost was how the Antichrist was made after season one. Mm -hmm. So what's this going to do? Was. You were my first. Is that better or worse for the baby that you probably have now? So, <laughs> I popped your cherry. How do you feel? What is it? Your head? My head in there? Yes! Called oh it. Oh god, what are you? Yeah, you just had sex with the ghost. You been? Are you dead too? Is everyone in this whole fucking place dead? I wanted to kill you myself. I know I seem pretty bitchin', but I have moments of doubt too. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That that boombox hit hard. <laughs> it's all my fault. All of this. I can't live with this darkness. Just no. There's only one kill left. Margaret. You. You don't get off so easy. Oh, damn. Oh. You're Mr. Jingles. I should have shot you in the head. I'm gonna rip you apart. Damn. I played Robin Hood in 79. When you put me in that oven, you cooked up your worst nightmare, asshole. You did put him in the oven. But now she's alive and she's gonna kill you. Are you okay? Never better, actually. Damn. Poor guy. <laughs> Ghost jingles. Do you accept Satan as your master? <laughs> Here we go. Some real unstoppable killers. Unless they got some like holy water around or something. These poor kids. Turn around, driver. Turn around. Oh, shit. I want you to know. You did this! Oh! 
Oh. And that's what they're going to find. Oh, no. Hey, kids. How's it going? <laughs> Damn. Well, she survived so far. Please tell me someone can tell that's a pretty fresh wound, like you literally just got it. So this is the midway of the season, where are they going to go from here? Can they see him? Sir? Do you need help? Uh, yeah, I, do, I definitely do. Have a seat, I'm just going to take some vitals. You don't have any. Okay. He's going to disappear before Please they uh, leave the grounds. Relax. She's going to be like, what the fuck? There would definitely not be any breath on that mask. It would have been a nice touch if they would like throw that in, like edit out his breath. You are stuck there. What the hell, Montana? There is no Montana. Only Zul. <laughs> nice. It's a joke. Lighten up. You guys are doing this purgatory thing all wrong. We can be gods here. <laughs> True. Ugh, you guys are fucking boring. Oh. I stand it. So, what does that mean for the rest of the season? So, wow, huh. Um, crazy camp counselor lady gets away by claiming to be the victim. Brooke gets arrested for the murder of everyone. Oh, shit. I was about to say, but at least they'll find Jingle's body and realize, like... <clears throat> I was about to say they were going to find Jingle's body and have some of the murders be pinned on him, like he was really there. But if he was revived by Satan and got to leave the camp because he's not a ghost and actually took his body with him, then there is no body of any other killer. Wow. So they they can definitely pin it all on her. Whoa, that sucks. <laughs> uh, but then, what the fuck? That feels like a season finale. There's four more episodes to go. I wonder if this is, uh, they're going to come at it from another angle. Uh, like how they mixed it up in Roanoke Nightmare. Because in that one, that had a few like story arcs. Like one in the beginning and then they like turned it up and went at it from the media angle. And, uh, but from the same location. So... I wonder if this was just another incident in the lineage of the camp, and then the remaining four will be the next iteration, some more people coming, but now there's all these other psychotic ghosts lurking there. Uh, will we see any more of Mr. Jingles and the Slasher Dude? Huh. Interesting. I kind of really want to watch the other episode right now, so... Let me refresh my drink. I think I'll go with another rum and coke. Um, but yeah. What did you think of this episode? What uh, When you were watching at this point, did you have any theories? Don't tell me uh, what it is, but uh, tell me what you were thinking at this point. And hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like these. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.